Hi everybody, welcome to Gumpin TV. Hey guys. Brought to you by Hobby League Japan. This is episode 220. 220. 220. Okay, now, uh, we got some stuff to talk about. And look, I have another piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, last time I had a piece of paper, I was telling you all about some cool things. I'm back with another piece of paper. Yeah, now, what's on this one? The rumor flying around, because we saw these at the, uh, the Tokyo Model Show, mm -hmm. is that uh, in December they're going to release an MG Titanium Finish. Unicorn. And unicorn. Some people who have been around for a while would be like, wait a minute, they released a titanium <laughs> unicorn MG oh, six years ago now. Yeah, it's been a um, little while. It's been a little while. Well, here's the, the digs on this one. Right. Uh, this one, it's it's the MG unicorn titanium finish, but they give you two cycle frames. They're going to give you the red cycle frame, mm. and they're going to give you the green cycle frame. You have a now, choice. You have to choose one when you're assembling it. And I don't think this kit disassembles too easily. Yeah. Uh, but all, all model kits, for the most part, you can snap it and take it back apart if you're careful. Mm. So I don't know if I would but recommend that. Clear parts also. Yeah. Clear parts tend to crack they more do, easily. And it's titanium finished, so you start monkeying around and scratch it. Uh, the Titanium Unicorn, I don't know if you've ever seen it, the original version Ka. I have the HG Titanium Yeah, unicorn. that one's good too. But the original MG version Ka Titanium Unicorn was a beautiful kit. Mm. And now, I think actually this one will probably look better because they do their titanium finish a little bit differently. Oh, yeah. So, um, there you go. It's red and green cycle frames. Your choice. We call it the twin frame. Yeah. And uh, by the time you see this video, it should be up on our site for pre order. This is a December release. December. So, December is busy. That MG is going to be a busy Atlas. month. And then RG Build Strike Gun. Right. And then, uh, then cycle frame, two of them twin set MG Unicorn titanium finishes. And. Some HGs, I think, sprinkled in there as yeah, well. Yeah, of course. Of course. So, December. So, everybody's screaming for new MGs, and here we go. We got two MGs two coming MG. in no, one month. No, it's not two MGs. We need to clarify that, Todd. <laughs> it's one MG. Well, you got the oh, Cyclozaku. Cyclozaku. Sorry, I Cyclozaku, you Cyclozaku this. and this one. Oh, there you go. And this is like kind of like one like and a half. <laughs> two and a half MGs? <laughs> two and a half. Go. All there right, go. So, uh, check out uh, hlj.com. It'll be yep. on there. It's a December release. Get your pre-orders in, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, it could be limited. We don't know yet. Yeah, so if you want it, get your order in early. That's right. So I know I will. So I'm going to keep this right here. Okay, now, last week we weren't filming because nothing came out last week, you remember? No. Not any Gundam plan. We, uh, so we now have Gundam plan, but we also have other stacks here, too. Got some other stuff in yeah, there, Yeah, you want to see what we got here? Check this out. Oh. Big Eyes Bust. Macross Delta. Okay. Hanami Buccaneer. Buccaneer. Yeah. There's a nice Those last Buccaneer name for you. Fans. Buccaneer. She looks okay. I imagine you're going to be doing a lot of sticker work with the microphone and stuff. But that was a, a fun build if you're into the busts. Mm. And we also have, and it seems like it's been a long time since we've seen One Piece. Um, yes. But that's not the case, actually. We just haven't shown it on the show. But yeah. this is kind of different, so I thought we'd bring it in, right? This is the, the, the Guard Fortress. For Mr. What's, what do they call it? Chopper. 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 That's right. Chopper's Guard Fortress. And uh, it's actually quite a sizable box. Yeah, that is. Final. That's pretty good. It's yeah. a nice thick HG size box. There you go. And we also have the heavy armor. Right? The heavy armor. Now, Chopper's I think heavy armor. you can combine these to make really bigger ones. So, yeah, it shows it here on the side of the box. Yeah, it says uh, Gakta United. Right. You can. There's a Kung Fu Tracer, a Walk Hopper. Heavy armor and a horn dozer, and right, they combine right. with the guard fortress to make something. Even you can make it a, a giant. Oh, you can chopper. make the giant chopper. It's an actual chopper. That'd be oh. kind of cool. It's like those. Uh, oh. It's like those transformers where you get all the small pieces yeah. and you combine it to make a big robot version. But now you can do the first one. They call it S one. This is S two. This is S. So right? maybe so we got some more coming in November. Yeah. It looks yeah. like that's right. So maybe we're gonna have to have a look at this to be launched November two sixteen. Hmm. All right, maybe we're going to have to come back to this. Yeah, it looks cool. All right. Let me just move out of the way. Because one piece we fans. have a Gundam. Gundam, I think it's yeah. upside down. Thank you. We <laughs> have a Gundam. What's this called? The full it's the Gujin. Rebaked full city. Extra rebaked. <laughs> Extra rebaked. We built this city. Um, dun, dun, yeah, did dun. you see the anime? You've been watching it, right? Yeah, I've been watching it. Yeah? Is it good? <laughs> oh, it, yeah, finally the last episode that aired on Sunday, we mm. had some actual... Battles, some okay. some good space battles happened. So was the big city in there? The it was. It was city? actually the first time that we saw it so far in the second season. So okay. the new re rebaked Gujin was. Okay. I like the original uh, Gujin. I so do the big the, the big fat green one is I like my this favorite. One too, so uh, why don't we just open the box and have a look what's inside? Okay. 
So one thing I noticed when I'm looking at this kit is that it comes with lots of stickers. Ooh, lots yeah. and lots of stickers. Well, look Actually, at all those white stickers. It's probably getting a reflection off this light so, uh, because of the light. So let me just uh, show you. Similar to the last Gujin, if I recall correctly. Mm. Right. Lots of stickers. Um, I'm seeing what looks to be... It's all new armor, of course. We're not re reusing anything. But, you know, different panel lines in here. Details yeah. in there. It does look kind of cool. The one orange piece, or sorry, three orange pieces. And I want to say we have to look because... Which frame are we getting? Okay, is, is it going to be right? the four, like the Barbados? Yeah, is it going to be the four? I'm looking at it, and it says frame three. Three, okay. Oh, we're getting frame three. We're so stepping back in time. That's right. So which, which other kids came with the three? Do we remember? That's a good remember. question. Oh, well, we'll have to we've, find out. We've built them all, but it's hard to remember. All right, there you go. Mm. Rebake, full city. Rebake. Rebake. That's it for all the new releases for this week. Todd, uh, what have you been busy with the last couple weeks? Oh, I went ahead and I built the Hugo, or Hugo. Hugo. How about you, Sid? What do you got? Uh, I got something. I got something. Check that out. Oh. Yeah. I got the figure ice bust Setsuna. Okay. Yeah. Can I go first? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'm going to go first. Away. Check this out. Here it is. Yes. It's a, <laughs> a figure ice bust. I don't know what else you really expect here. It's a lot of fun. I suppose this is my favorite bus so far, just because I like. Really, I like the character more than better than Mika. Like, well, that's fun, but I just not into the characters. At least I uh, like the Double O Gundam. I like the Double O Riser, that kind of thing. It's all right. But uh, when I was assembling this, you know, you have to put all the hair on the end, piece right, by piece, right, by right. piece. And I thought, you know what? Like, it's like watching male pattern baldness in reverse <laughs> because I can like pop this piece off here, and <laughs> look at that. It's like looking into the future, isn't it, Todd? <laughs> And you, <laughs> yeah, we just pull like that. And look at that. That poor guy. This is like double O, 20 years in the future or something. We like, he's still young at that time when the first season came out. But maybe uh, maybe he just hangs around a little too long. And I can keep taking layers off until he's left with this thing down here. And I, I was like, yeah, that's kind of funny. So, yeah, I'll put this guy back together. <laughs> that's the way it is. Yeah, we'll go from there. It's not bad. He has his moments. <laughs> he has his moments. Oh, where does this thing go? Oh, no, you put it out. That's right. Oh, no. These things are really like a puzzle. If you don't get that That's hair right. in the right order, it won't go together. In the right angle, it won't slide in there. Okay, I think I got this. There you go. Okay. There you go. Setsuna. Okay. I think it's, uh, I think it's your turn. All right. I didn't mean to steal your thunder <laughs> with the, the magnificence of the figureized bust here. I'll put it away because I know you can't stop looking at it. Oh, man. Okay, so okay. now it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Try let's... to try to do better than that. Try to show me up. <laughs> okay, let's take okay. a look at the Yugo. All right, Yugo time. All right, Hugo. Yugo. Yugo, Yugo. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. So I don't know, maybe some American viewers out there might not be too familiar with this, which actually doesn't make much sense because I'm American, and I got this from American, but some of you might recognize it, some of you might not. In the 1980s, in America, they did sell some really, really cheap cars. Yeah, I remember. And they were called Yugo. Yugos. And when you read the name of this kit in Japanese, it doesn't say Hugo with the, an H. It has yeah. the kanji for Yugo, which is yeah. exactly the same as this. So I, 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 in California, something I used to like doing a lot was going to those uh, pick-aparts, as we okay. called them, the old car junkyards, because I had a Toyota MR2 at the time, and... I would go to get parts for that, and the old Corollas. I used to have. I was into the old Corollas too, the Hachirokus and whatnot. Yeah. But I, I saw I saw a Yugo in there, and it's so rare to ever see a Yugo. Actually, this might have been one of the one or two only Yugos that I'd ever seen. It was just sitting there getting picked apart. So I had to steal the badge, and finally I could use it. There you go. <laughs> I've, no, I've it's been not, holding it's onto not, this thing forever. It's not, you know, odd that you would, you know, steal the Yugo badge from a. A junkyard. What I find it 
odd is that you'd bring it with you to, from Japan or That's to Japan true. when you moved. It moved with I'm gonna me. I'm going to start a new life in Japan. Better bring my Yugo badge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you never it's, know it's, when this is going to come in handy. It's so thin, and when am I ever going to see Yugo again? <laughs> but actually, I have I have a couple of different badges. So this was just kind of in that oh, bag with the other ones. So the other ones can make an my appearance. My Subaru brat badge <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> The old brat. Maybe but you go. Maybe if you're lucky, there'll be a kit called the brat, and you can bring it out. Oh, that would be something. Okay, oh, it's so. a big brat with the own WD. All right, so on to the kit. Yeah. All right, so last week, last week we did the scrambled, and I had the other one, the quant. So the quant was kind of fun to build, but the scrambled was kind of. Um, what did I say about the scrambled? It was a bit boring. It wasn't so exciting, right? Yeah. So it this looks good, but... it looked it looked, yeah that's true the kit looks really good it's, it looks great but it just there was wasn't really so fun to build so this kit kind of is a reverse of that for me I know a lot of people HG kits are like oh it's HG whatnot but I I kind of I dig building HG kits and this one for me was a, a pretty fun build because it's a bit unique it's mm -hmm. a bit different and it's got a bunch of kind of different cool features to it. So of course being an iron blooded kit it has the complete inner frame like you come to expect from a lot of the other HG kits in the iron blooded orphans lines mm -hmm. but also just the look I like it's not the standard Gundam at all it's got this kind of weird funky looking head with looks like uh, the Metal Gear Rex head yeah kind <laughs> of like that and the visor on the inside, although that is just a sticker, it gives you the groove so that you can kind of uh, oh, push the black parts down. It gives it a nice textured look, but I thought that looks really cool. And okay. also, something else I want to point out, you've seen those, I should take this off so you guys can get a better view of that, but the legs aren't just like a standard leg. You, you bend it back like a, a chicken walker, I guess you yeah. would say. So that was That's kind cool. of cool to cool to do just I can't even I can't remember the last Gundam I had to do that on I think there was like a double O suit okay that you had to do that on but I, I could be I could be remembering wrong but it's just one of those cool features that I just liked okay. I dug so this suit also it comes with uh, the feet I should mention also because this is a space suit so it's it's mostly meant to be flying around in space and mm -hmm. sometimes when you're in space you might need to grab on to things. Yeah. So with this one, you have the feet kind of act also as claws. Claw. Claw. So it's got like chicken walker legs and <laughs> claw feet. Mm -hmm. There you go. So it's a bird. Is, it's a bird. It's a plane. Wait, what? how does that go? It's a plane. It's, it's a not bird. Superman. <laughs> it's Superman. It's Super Hugo. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's cool, though. I right. like it. Oh, it looks cool. Okay. So weapons, we have your standard machine gun, which it's just two pieces. It's not terribly too exciting, mm -hmm. but you also get these because this is a me melee melee heavy yeah. weapon. Scimitars. Yeah. Two oh, scimitars. Huge. These are big and they would look great just posed around a ball gun. <laughs> I'm sure you tried it at home. <laughs> I actually did. Well, I had one sitting on my desk, and I was like, well, if I was to, like, put this around the ball gun, then it fits, and, like, this could double as, like, guns pointing out the front. Yeah. You never know. Some like good ideas. Episode 3 Star Wars ship or something. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks <laughs> like that. So he can hold on to these, of course. Okay. But these also will fit onto his back here. Like so. Okay. Oh, it gives it that okay. nice ring look. That looks pretty okay. cool. Okay. There you go. I forgot to mention also, the shoulders have... This part can kind of move in and out, and it's got thrusters on there uh, for see. whenever he wants to go side to side. Just busting some moves out in space. Mm -hmm. But that's not it for the gimmicks on this kit either. Oh, okay. But wait, there's but wait? more. Okay. All right. So on his side skirts, it's hard to see. It's hard to see it in the pose it is in now. This is just the standard pose. Mm -hmm. But this part will pop off here. Whoa! Let me just take this off really quick. Ta -da. Please stay. All right. So this will come off. You kind of got to dig for it. Oh, I just pull it off from the other side. There you go. 
and as it falls apart, it Earth reveals on the inside it has another claw. Oh man, it's got these, these... the shot shot grip claws, I okay. believe it was called. So these come off. So you have your skirt, you have your claw, mm -hmm. and this kit also comes with. Oh, the wire. Wires. So you can plug the wire in here, like so, and you're supposed to, you're supposed to put it in, and you're supposed to bend it, oh, bend it over so that way you can hold on to it. And then you can plug it in to the back of this part, like so, and okay. Once you got that all set up, you can put this back on and whoa! Check that out. Oh yeah! Shooting out some claws. It's claw time. So, you get two wires. You get two wires. So you can do it for both sides. Mm-hmm. You can have them. I'm not gonna go too crazy here. There you go, and you can plug it in. Have his claws already. And there you go, the HG Yugo. It's got some nice tricks to it. The inner frame, nice, uh, pretty nice articulation. Although I won't go into that. It's pretty standard for the rest of the Iron Blooded Orphan kits. But that is it, pretty much for the Iron Blooded Orphans HG Yugo or Hugo. All right, there you go. That's the Yugo. Yeah, it looks good. And yeah. Yeah. Come on, lock eyes with him. Look at him. He's looking right at you. <laughs> no, kind he's, he's kind of he's he, he looks, down at the... He looks to the side, so you, you have to crank his head all the way around just to get him to look at you. Like, notice me, Setsuna. <laughs> he's always like, mm, I'm looking over there. Yeah. I'm uncomfortable uh, right now. Maybe, maybe he's like the shy, can't look people in the eyes. Just yeah. To... Come on, buddy. Cheer <laughs> up, all right? You're not bald yet. Not okay. Yet. The Hugo seems like a really cool kit. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay. Well... More interesting than that scramble I built last week. So. Yeah, last time. Okay, we got some comments to read. I believe they're under your mat. Okay. Are you finished with the Hugo? I am. Let's okay. take a look at these comments. Okay. I might as well get mine too while we're at it. All right. Ah. You ready? Mm hmm All right. So we're starting off with the first comment from Kevy1247. Okay. I always see these numbers, and I kind of wonder, like, do they mean something? In, J in Japan, you see those numbers a a after, like, people's email addresses. And it's and usually, like, always, a birthday. It's always the birthday. Like, uh. I know exactly when you were born. Right. Because, you know, you have to include it. <laughs> but 1247, uh, unless he's born 1947. Or he was born 1247. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, it's just random numbers. Yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. Mr. Kevy, or Mrs. Kevy, Kevy1247 says... The timing couldn't have been any better. Okay. The purple and green petite bears matched our wedding theme colors, and I will be building and customizing them for our cake toppers. Ooh. Ooh. Got three months to get things ready. Thanks. That's awesome, and I had, to, I had to read that comment. I had to have you read that comment, because I want to say uh. I need pictures. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to customize a Gundam to stick on your wedding cake, how can you not share that with me? Come on. I need to see it. Please send us pictures. Send us pictures. That would wedding be awesome. cake with Gundams on yeah, top. That's great. And if your wife accepts that, then she's a keeper. That's right. I hope she's a keeper <laughs> because you're going through the wedding ceremony. Right. Actually, yeah, the wedding cake comes afterwards. So if you get through there and sign a piece of paper and do all the nuptials and then you go to have a piece of cake and she's like, what the hell is it? It could be difficult. <laughs> could be difficult. It could be awkward. <laughs> What's on top of that cake? <laughs> that's right. Okay, next. All right, next picture up from picture. WJS. How do you, how would you even read that? WJS Leon. Okay. All right. They say, "Hope it's not too late to list my top five moments." It's never too late. Never Run too late. Them. Number five. Mm -hmm. Scott showed Sid a common rider who can transform into a bike and be ridden by another common rider. Yeah, that was that was something else. Yeah. Interesting. Number four. Todd's first tour of the warehouse full of Gumpla with Ryan. Yeah, yeah, that was a good tour. Yeah, you liked that, didn't you? I did. I had my nippers ready, I remember. Yeah. Ready to get to work. <laughs> get to work, is that what you call them? <laughs> I'm here for my first day. Here, let's nippers get in my to back work. pocket. All right, give me some Gumpla to build. That's right. That's not how it works, right? <laughs> you just gotta like it. 
Okay. All right, number three. Mm -hmm. Sid wanted Ryan to see his new cloth. Clothes. Clothes, mm -hmm. all right. Only to find out Ryan had the same one. Yeah, that was, that was a little bit awkward. Yeah, but it's a nice sweater. It's nice, but you know what's even more awkward? Mm. Brian also had the same one. <laughs> Boss Brian. And a good Brian. friend of mine in, in oh, uh, really? south of Japan also had the same one. Man. So there's four of us that purchased a, a Star Wars hoodie from Uniqlo, and we all bought the same one. I missed out going to Uniqlo at that time, I guess. Yeah. It was like Star Wars extravaganza last year at Uniqlo. Uh, if you bought like blankets, you get a little eraser. So I've got some cool erasers, Star Wars erasers, Ben Kenobi. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it was a good time to be a Star Wars fan last <laughs> December. Well, this December we yeah. got it's new gonna happen again. It's gonna Rogue happen again. One. That's right. I'm already excited for the kits and the yeah. toys and the new lightsabers and whatever else I'm gonna see. There's gonna be lightsabers in that movie. Just stars, maybe. You might not even see a lightsaber yeah. in the Star Wars movie. We might not. All right. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> mm, speaking of sabers, number two. Yeah. Lightsaber fight, Sid versus Todd. Yeah. That was fun too. That was fun. Good times. Good, good times. Mm -hmm. All right. Number one. Yeah. Sid was taking a walk in the field and heard about the O has mm -hmm. arrived and ran straight back to the warehouse. I did. I remember that episode. Just, you were out there. Yeah, we had to do multiple takes and it was really hot. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it was in summer, kind That's of. That's why we haven't seen you run anymore. Since <laughs> we're in the middle of the rice field. That's right. All the good old days. Okay, All right. next one. N n next one is Jack's improving Gumpla. All right, so Jack nice says, name. Oh, I was the parent in that parent-teacher meeting. I was watching while in the audience. How the bleep do you explain that to a crowd of stuffy adults? Lie a lot quickly. Yeah, we had him comment uh, a couple episodes ago. Mm, yeah, I kind of remember that comment. Laughing during the parent teacher meeting. <laughs> I asked him if he was the parent or the teacher. <laughs> he was a parent, apparently. He was a parent. All right, so he continues. It's okay to lie in that case, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's a okay. parent teacher meeting. That's right. There's a lot of lying going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. All right, moving on. Yeah. I have a question for Sid. Okay. Or anyone, really. Okay. About how you determine, choose which kits to paint and which to just build line decal. I realize it's a bit different being exposed, have easier access to so many kits. Mm. But how do you decide which ones to dedicate the time and focus to painting up all nice? Oh yeah, I saw that question a couple of times, and I'm glad I threw it in there. Um, mm. I think it, it comes down to inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have to build so many kits for you know my job and my hobby and whatever else, and sometimes I'll just burn through them and I'll get them done. Yeah, we show them here in the show. They're fun, of course. I, I like the pack. I like the action of building, but sometimes while I'm building something, I'll have an idea. Oh, what uh, if I change yeah. this? What right. if I mixed it with this? Right. You know, what if I added these colors to it, kind of thing. So what happens is by the time I'm done the, the what I call the test build or the other box build, uh, I got a good idea of I, what I want to do with it, mm -hmm. and then I'll take it back apart and start on that. So it just it's like a, a little light bulb goes off above. Right. My head. I do yeah. the same thing. I get these parts and I'm like, ball. <laughs> <laughs> you stole it, man. I know. I was like, how would this look with a ball? <laughs> yeah. Do you have like rounded furniture and stuff like that? I think it's just rounded in your house. It's just ball of shape. rice cookers like this. And, yeah, yeah, but I have been working on another one. Bean so. bag chairs. And <laughs> ball How would this look rounded? Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Yeah, there you go. That's my answer. I used to think that I had to like do something to everything. Every kit I build, I need to do something too, whether yeah. it's painting or modifying or adding. And then. Um, that can be a lot of work. That's going to take a lot of time. So I'm actually uh, around the time I think that the uh, RGs came out, mm. and I realized that you can get a really nice looking kit just by doing panel lining and stickering and stuff like that. I tended to back off the, the modifications. Uh, the new MGs, you know, the Freedom 2.0. Yeah. Those ones, they look so stellar out of the box. I don't. I don't feel the need to go in and change everything so much. Right. And like speaking of that, like the RG Sinanju. Yeah. Like, what would you change on that? <laughs> I mean, if I just feel like if you were to paint it, I don't know, it would just lose something. Well, it lose the glossiness. Although people have put on their paint you could, and they look but great. you're gonna have to spend a really long time to get it to look really nice. Yeah. 
Mm. So it just all depends on what you feel you, you want to do with it, I guess. That's all. It's just art, right? Yeah, it's just art. There you go. Each Gundam is like a, a painting palette. It's a canvas. It's a canvas. That's the word I was looking oh, for. Oh, it's like a color your numbers. But you know what? When it says number three is supposed to be red and I take out my blue pencil. Oh. Oh. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. Getting wild. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Um, last week. Mm. We pulled out the, oh, that's the Thunderbirds. Right. Remember, this is not assembled. Somebody gets to gets actually to build it. Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, some people are really excited to see the Thunderbirds, oh. Thunderbirds go stuff. Um, the winner is comment number forty-one. Forty-one. Who goes by the name of Nathan? Now, I'm gonna just hazard a wild guess here that this might also be his real name, <laughs> not just his internet handle. That would probably be a pretty good guess. Thank you. I'm smart that way. And he writes mm. a Thunderbirds kit. I had a few of the small Hot Wheels size models back when the U.S. movie came out. I would love to have some larger scale versions of the vehicles. Oh, is this the only? Is the mole the only one currently in the line? And for that, I don't know. I didn't check. I think there's a couple more, but the mole yeah, is the I one I remember. remember and the one I had to give away. So, uh, of course, if you're if you're interested in the other ones in that line, you just Thunderbirds go in our search and right. we'll everything, and you can choose uh, the manufacturer, and it will narrow it down. So, right, right. There you go. Okay, so Nathan, I'll be contacting you via HobbyLink TV. Congratulations. And I'll be getting your mailing address. Now, uh, in similar vein, you know, uh, given a sample, we hadn't put it together, but we're willing to give it away. Mm -hmm. I have uh, this guy. Ooh, Bumblebee. Okay. Now, we showed this in Gumbo TV back when it first came out. We built it, and uh, then it sold out. And then I think a year and a half later, they did a second run. Uh, and... Uh, they gave us another free demo at the time, a free okay. sample, which I didn't assemble because I already done it once. And then it sold out again, I think. <laughs> so uh, this one's kind of, I've just been hanging around in the office for a while. All right. And uh, I've had to hide it away so it doesn't get put back on the shelf and sold because it's a sample. <gasps> so instead of hiding it away, I'm going to give it to somebody. Okay. So, Father, are you prepared to tell people how they can enter to win this? Sure. Yeah. All right, guys. So to enter, you're going to need to go on to Hobby Link. Dot TV, I That's believe right. it is, and episode episode number two twenty, yeah. and post a comment. That's all. I yeah. believe that's it. That's all you need to do, and then the random number generator will take care of the rest. Right. So get yeah. those comments in if you would like to win the bumblebee. The bumblebee. This is a fun kit. Oh, it looks like you got that frame. Well, you got the frame, so it's almost like kind of frame arms. Yeah. But, but uh, the armor parts also come painted with mm. some of the details. So it's, you know. It's cool. Almost a Kotobuki style, but it's not uh, um, Okay, so uh, next week, next one week? of us is going to have to build this, and we haven't decided who it's going to be yet. Okay. Um, and then we have, a, I think we have another IBO2 kit coming. I, yeah, there's another one coming. Justina something, something, something. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. I can't remember either. Yeah, I'm okay. more excited for the, the end of the year and not the next week. But yeah, December is yeah. going to be crazy. So, uh, yeah, so once again, we are brought to you by Hobby Link Japan, Japan. HLJ.com. Please uh, buy your kits from us and support the show. Um, Todd, why don't you go into the ending part? Where can they find us? All right, so you guys can find us on, you can find us on YouTube, mm -hmm. on Reddit, yeah. on Facebook, on yeah. Twitter, on Instagram, yeah. on Tumblr. Tumblr, yeah. and where else? We are on everywhere. We are on everywhere, although Maybe. I don't think we're on Dig because Dig no longer exists. I don't think we're on Snapchat either because <laughs> that's not our style. Yeah. So there you go. There's a couple of places we are not, but mm -hmm. you should be able to find us easy enough. Um, there you go. Now, next month, heading into November, we do have a Gunplay Expo. We'll be preparing for that, but that's, that's not right. for another month or so. But the hype is starting already. <laughs> and then December, and then all that good, huge chunks of plamo. Right. Titanium. Christmas is coming soon, so yeah. maybe that's a good another thing to mention. Christmas yeah. is coming soon, so if you guys are thinking about buying some stuff for Christmas, there you, go. you should think about getting those orders in. Get those orders in. You'll still have your sixty days in private rather warehouse. than later. Yeah. yeah, it'll still be in time for Christmas. Oh yeah, Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. So okay. start thinking about what you guys want to buy your what do you, friends what do you want and for girlfriends. Christmas, Todd? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have always had a hard time deciding. I know. I'm the worst person to shop for. Uh, what do you want? Um, uh, because I'm the kind of guy who wants something and just goes up and gets it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tries to get it for myself. Yeah, I don't really think of anything I can need right now. So usually I get clothing. Ha! 
Anyway, <laughs> enough socks. about my boring life. <laughs> my socks. I got socks last week, Guess actually. Really Ooh. Um, New socks. There you go. I hope everybody enjoyed this episode. We'll see you later.